Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Poet Technologies channel. We have a special interview for you guys today. We're sitting here with Chairman and CEO, Dr. Suresh Venkatesan. Today, we're going to dive into the exciting topic of AI. Doctor, how are you doing? Are you ready to get into it? I'm doing great. Thank you. Thank you for having me on your uh, video chat here. Perfect, perfect. Glad it's, to have it's, it is a great opportunity to reach out to our investors as well. So good morning, good evening, good night, you know, depending on where you are and when you're watching this. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, AI is obviously a buzzword. There's, there's a lot of things going on around it. It's getting stronger and stronger as we go here. So let's dive in. So you guys have a partnership with Celestial AI, which is a fast growing Silicon Valley startup in the artificial intelligence industry. Could you tell us about that agreement a little bit more and what Poet brings to that partnership? Yeah, you know, as a as a backdrop, um, I guess I should, you know, just talk a bit about, you know, what this AI market is all about. So I think, you know, um, one of the key things in any kind of artificial intelligence application is is training the machine, you know, to recognize a cat in any form, right? So, um, so there's a lot of machine training that has to that has to be done in order for this AI engine to recognize something. Mm -hmm. And and so there's a training piece and an inferencing piece as it relates to artificial intelligence. And these are extremely compute heavy, mm -hmm. very, very large amounts of parallel processing that needs to be done. And what has been happening is that over time, challenges with Moore's law, challenges with you know general interconnects um, in, in the electrical domain have been, you know, result in very high power consumption, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So there's been a trend and it's a very hot trend these days to incorporate photonics or optical communications as a medium inside of these AI accelerator chips. Um, there are many startup companies in the space and um, Celestial is one of them. Um, they have a very unique architecture um, to, you know, addressing these particular challenges. And we've been extremely fortunate um, in, in having the right uh, architectural solution for light sources for these applications, in particular for Celestial. So um, we're extremely excited in um, being a preferred supplier uh, to Celestial for light engines. Um, and, to explain what that specifically is, is uh, most of these photonics ships, you know, they can do a lot of movement of light um, inside of this photonic fabric, if you will. Um, but there needs to be a source of light um, that goes into these ships. And, and Poet uh, is eminently poised to be a, you know, a player uh, in the space where we use our optical interposer technology to create uh, these extremely differentiated small form factor light sources that effectively light up, right? Or power up uh, these photonics fabrics that are used in uh, artificial intelligence accelerators. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely an industry where there's still a lot of time and a lot of room to mature and a lot of new technologies that are going to come into it and help with some of those limitations. So what do you think the real market opportunity is for Poet in, in the AI space as a whole? Yeah, you know, uh, we've, uh, we've developed this interposer technology to be somewhat of a ubiquitous uh, platform um, that can support kind of, you know, various applications um, between, you know, photonics packaging at wafer scale or photonics electronics co-integration at wafer scale. And we've been applying this technology, cutting its teeth as you will um, in the data communication segment. So, you know, starting with 100 to 100 and moving up to 400. Uh, the data communications market itself is a very, very fast growing market. And um, when you look at things like AI processors, um, take the highest volume you have in data communications and multiply it by 10, right? Mm -hmm. So the processing volumes are, are well above, you know, the, the volumes that are typically experienced in data center communications. And so we, we view this as, you know, um, it's got a slightly longer gestation period, of course, you know, these are companies that are just getting traction, photonics as a medium of communications and processors is just getting traction. But when it does take off, you know, we expect it to be an a very, very exciting business for Poet um, just because of the volumes involved. And 
And frankly, because of the volumes involved, um, you know, technologies such as Poets Optical Interposer and creating these solutions become almost a necessity. Um, you know, you, you may be able to get by and eke out your living, if you will, mm -hmm. in data communications using conventional packaging techniques. But, you know, multiply the volumes by a factor of 10, that just simply does not scale. You have to get to really small form factor, low cost, wafer scale packaging. And, and so we, we believe Poet with its platform is very, very well positioned to participate in this, uh, in this extremely exciting opportunity. Yeah, agreed. You know, what I've seen across multiple industries is the people who have began implementing AI into their technologies and platforms. There's a widening gap between them and the people, again, sticking to more conventional means. It's not that that can't potentially still get the job done. It's just that AI is just another useful tool in the tool belt. So but with that said, so what is it about Celestial AI's products that you think will be like of the most interest to the AI industry? Well, I mean, I, uh, I obviously can't comment on Celestial's products or their architecture, but broadly, um, you know, the, the class of products that we're talking about are products that uh, have, have a nice system partition where you do what the electronics world does the best um, and you partition and, and do what the photonics world does the best, which is communicate and transmit the data at very high speeds at extremely low power with very low latency. And so most of the artificial intelligence accelerators look at a means to partition the system and, um, and, and do the extremely you know, power hungry computations or data communications in the world of optics. And, and so that's particularly what's exciting to the artificial intelligence community in general uh, for these kinds of applications is the smart partitioning of, of electronics and photonics. Now underlying that, you know, is our technologies like, you know, Poets Optical Interposer that enables a seamless co-packaging of electronics and photonics and therefore you know, we provide kind of the glue, right, that yep. establishes or stitches together this this partition um, that companies are doing in this space. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, how does it feel now knowing that Poet is the chosen supplier of Celestial AI and that all the groundwork you guys have been doing is now finding, like, commercial interest? Does it feel good? Yeah. You know, uh, look, we've been at this for a few years. Uh, we've been trying to develop this technology as a platform, and we believe that it took us a little longer to set it up as a platform, but it pays dividends like now. I mean, we're able to tackle applications in multiple verticals with, um, with relative ease, I would say, you know, in that the base building blocks, whether it be laser attached capability or passive integration capability, all of these base building blocks have been developed and, and uh, over time. And now we're, you know, heading into this, you know, dual, dual kind of, uh, you know, focus areas for us. One is, you know, commercializing our technology in the data communication space. And the second is, you know, growing our technology presence in alternate verticals such as artificial intelligence. And, you know, it's, it's a statement of our strategy from a year and a half ago that that's kind of what we were going to do. Um, and we're following it up with some execution. Uh, and despite the challenges in the industry with COVID and the supply chain issues, you know, we are making progress. You know, could it be faster? Yeah, but, you know, I think in general, Given the overall climate in the industry, we're extremely pleased with the progress that we're making. Good, good. And, and so like now that this foundation is, is built, so to speak, beyond what you're doing specifically for Celestial AI, what other AI applications could your guys' optical interposer potentially make possible? Yeah, you know, the the like I said, the 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 underpinning technology is um, is a partitioning of the system between electronics and photonics and and co-packaging, um, and so that then brings us to the broad space of kind of co-packaged optics in general, which is you know how do I get optical connectivity closer and closer to chips, mm -hmm. and so whether it be in AI, whether it be in data center applications for eight hundred gig and beyond, um, whether it be in chip to chip connectivity. Um, you know, all of these applications typically require fundamentally the same things, which is a system partition 
and then a platform that brings the, the partitions together in a, in a seamless way. And Poet has the basic technology to bring these partitions together in a seamless way. We are not going to make the photonics fabrics. They're built separately by these companies. But what we do is the glue, um, you know, that allows these to, to work well. And, and so from that perspective, you know, um, the celestial opportunity is one opportunity in AI. Uh, but there are other parallel opportunities in data centers. Uh, data center interconnects with co-packaged optics and other chip connectivity uh, applications that are starting to gain a lot of traction uh, with this, um, you know, renewed interest in photonics, right, over, uh, over this past uh, decade. Yeah, I agree. This is definitely an industry, again, where there's going to be a, a lot of growth. So I'm curious to see what things may come with it. But Dr. Suresh, thank you again so much for coming on. Thank you, everyone, for watching. If you guys have any questions about any of it, let us know. We'll happily dive into it. But for now, Dr. Suresh, do you have any closing words? No, thanks. Thanks for this opportunity. I think this is a great, uh, great time for Poet. I think, you know, anytime you are kind of past the technology development phase and you're getting into business development, getting into commercialization, starting to get into customers, uh, becoming their preferred supplier. It's always an exciting time. It's also an extremely busy time for the company. And there's obviously a lot of things that you got to do. And sometimes we feel like we're building the plane as it's taking off, but, uh, but that's kind of what we do, you know, in a, in a small company. And um, we're extremely excited about, you know, the business prospects that we face and and um and yeah and i think as a company we're really well positioned as an investor base uh you guys should take a close look at us because you know we're uh definitely at an inflection point now um with with a lot of the r and d behind us and um you know kind of the the blue ocean um of of new applications that are um uh, that are in front of us perfect well dr suresh thank you for joining Thank you, everybody, for watching. Stay tuned for more content coming soon. And of course, have a wonderful day. Thank you.